is up YouTube welcome back to on the guest show and we're back with another video now before we get started with this badass video that we got going on today guys we got the giveaway live right now every ten dollar you spend will get you one entry the deadline for this truck is Sunday April 9th 11 59 p.m. now we do got some nice shirts coming and we do got some new decal specific for this truck that shirt and that decal specifically will give you multiple entries to this giveaway now we haven't designed the shirt yet because remember we are wrapping this truck we're in between Nardo gray which I don't think we're gonna do Nardo gray we're gonna do either silver or blue we're down to two colors so comment down below we're gonna do like a chrome silver or we're gonna do a nice blue let us know right now actually now that we're talking about wrap we are taking the big foot the long dick style SS clone which is over there we're gonna be taking that to the wrap place right now we're gonna load it up and head out there so let's go this guy we actually have a big yard in the back but he's always out I don't know how he's always out, but he's always out. I put up to a shop right now. He's sitting down in the middle of the street like he owns this motherfucker. And he probably does. This is probably his street. So he's just here patrullando like if we're in Mexico. You know what I'm saying? There's actually a dog pound here in South Houston, and they haven't picked this guy up. This guy, when we're not here, he's wandering around. Last time Frank caught him like, like two blocks, three two blocks, blocks away. Here, yeah. The guy was actually lost for like a whole week. They actually found the dog at a refinery here a couple blocks down. He was over there chilling. Now he is a little hurt. He's limping. He's limping. I don't know what happened either. He got ran over. He got in a fight. Somebody beat him up. I don't know. He's a street dog. Just like this guy. industries we use what two or three different rap guys we have about three we have uh pixel works which did takashi supreme graphics who did crawfish uh, crawfish and then mm -hmm. these guys actually yesterday we were on our way here but we had two incidents we took off from the shop and then we forgot the keys Perio forgot the keys so we had a bust a u-turn go back to the shop get the keys we got the keys we rolled out again about 15 minutes in the run we had a flat one of the tires on the trailer popped. So it was just a sign not for us to come to over here. These guys are here in Katy. They're far as fuck. It took us about an hour and some change just to get here, especially with all the traffic, all the Houston traffic. So we're finally here. We're going to be unloading the muscle truck, talking about what kind of wrap we're going to be doing. I do have an idea of what I want, but there's a lot of different colors that we can go with. So right now, once we unload the truck, We'll talk to Kevin and then go from there. Today, we actually made it out here safe and sound, no flats. And I hope we didn't forget the keys. You're the one that loaded it, bro. Yeah, I think I, 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 I'm I pretty sure you left it in I there. usually leave the keys inside the truck, but he was one of those guys that take off the keys in his pocket. And then he forgets. Because last time we went somewhere, we went to Crosby. Oh, yeah. We went all the way to Crosby with the monster truck. Yeah, first time that we went. Yeah. Not the... Not the fireworks. Not the fireworks. The first time that we went, we loaded up the truck. We took off the Crosby and the keys were out the shop because Alice took them off the ignition. So I was a little pissed off, but we sent Fresco out to the shop, came back, and then that's whenever we did our little damage. But uh, we're here. Let's get off. Or if you want to go a little bit darker, I 
think you're on the lighter side of things. Maybe they have a new one in here. No, that's the same one. That looks better though. Gloss. Yeah, that's the same. Are you looking for a satin or a gloss? So if we do satin, it stains, right? It does stain a little bit easier, yeah. Or it's gonna have mud. Oh, well then yeah, I would for sure go gloss. Okay. I wouldn't even mess with satin. Yeah, you there know, you go. Like there's ceramic coating will will no, help, it's, it's but it's not gonna do nothing. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're going in the. There's gonna be chunks of mud flying up with the tires, so we need something that. That's why I'm going with this color. I, I mean, there's there's we could go any color, but. I want something that you can't really use the dirtiness. That, that'll help a lot too. Um, just because it's gloss, you won't have to really worry too much about the mud. Now, it is wrapped, so you can still beat it up, but I don't think you're yeah, gonna have yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. this one, you know what I mean? I mean, this will be a better color than going with this. You know what I'm saying? With any oh, other. yeah, absolutely. Do so, you like that better, or do you like a little bit darker? Mm, I actually like the lighter one. Okay, yeah. perfect. Perfect. So this is either there's these two are the same ones, right? Yeah, that one's a little darker too. Yeah. I think honestly, I think that one's gonna be your best bet. You have something like this. Oh, it looks too creamy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that one. No, no. Okay. One. I figured you were gonna be on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have this in stock? You gotta keep you, this one's well, this one's a little old, so it's gonna be a different color than that oh, batch. Okay. Just okay. just a little, but they'll all vary just a hair, but yeah. they'll, they'll be close, you know. Okay. So yeah, let's go check out the truck. Bring that one outside so we can. Put it later there. We got a little show and put on our side too. Right? <laughs> right? And we'll, we'll add the logo and everything from here all the way to like here. Okay. Saying. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, I don't know if you know, we actually molded the body kit on the truck. So, it's molded. Okay. Because if not, I think whenever you put the wrap and they use double sided tape, it sometimes it, it comes off. So, I told the guy, mold it in there and primer it, and now it ain't coming off. So, we're good on this part. Is this okay? Or do you have to? It's a little rough. Um, I'm gonna stick a piece to it. I might have to sand it a little bit more okay. just to make it a little bit okay. smoother. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then honestly, you'll end up with a, with a better final product. Uh, but I'm gonna try it first. Uh, I know you guys are always doing stuff, so yeah, yeah, you're yeah. gonna want it back faster sooner than later. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we're actually trying to take this truck to LST with the new wrap, and we actually got some new wheels coming. Okay. So it's gonna be like a new reveal, kinda. It's sick. gonna be a JTX Forge. Both. So yeah, we're trying to get that color. Now I do want to add this color all the way around, right? And then I need like a background. Before you put the logo, I want a background. The wheels are gonna be brush, silver brush with red. So we want to add, I actually want to add like a black background and I want the letters to be either red and white. And black. And black. Okay, and then reflective. Just the outline, the outline. reflective, yes. Bad. Bad. So if we want to do everything brown and then like a splash, like a carbon fiber and then a little bit of red and then the all the gas reflector do you want me i'm going to send you a couple pictures of that crushed carbon and because i know you were talking about doing it on the roof right yes you still want to do that the roof and the background all right um tailgate tailgate how can we come right here how can we add a piece here because i want to add it to the hood and i want to add it to the back and you don't want the whole thing in so you kind of just want like a a section of it yeah so kind of like a like a V? What do you yeah. recommend? That's kind of what I was thinking. If you wanted just to add a piece, just to be like, hey, it's, it's here, is if you come down and then just go down to maybe to this body line and then right back up kind of how you were doing it. Yeah. And I think that would be the cleanest way to do it. Do you want to add your logo or anything in it? We can add our, like our YouTube stuff. No, we have it on Crawfish on the corner right here. Yeah. Like uh, YouTube on the gas racing. You know what, what might look really good, and I'll have to try it because you might not even see it. Okay. If we cut your logo and we put your logo there and did the crushed carbon over, and then you'll see the logo just kind of uh, embossed in okay. there. Okay. I see you, you're the expert at this, so just make it look nice. I think you know what I'm saying? Everything else, the mirrors won't even black. Okay. Just do a little bit of the handle, kind of like the, the other like one. The other truck? Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Uh, what about on the hood? I know you can't see, but. If we come like this, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Or if you want to come here and then do this, or if you want to come all the way down with this line right here. So I think it might be a little bit better if we come down and we go across, and then there's a little bit of uh, tan just to break up that, because it's a dark color on another dark color. Okay. So if you kind of give it that separation, I think it might look good that way. Okay. Um, you know, of course, once we're, once we're laying it down, it, it might look better the other way. So well, whatever, I'll looks, keep you up whatever looks better on the bumper, do it all the way, just leave this black. Okay. And then I guess we just go from there. And then everything that is just the primer or whatever, we'll paint it black. Okay. 
know what I'm saying? But we're gonna try to go them all the way down. And if you want to add like a line here, cut it straight, and then paint the rest black so we won't be able to see the primer, we can do that as well. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I know you got all this bullshit, but if we can add like a line here, like a straight line, a cut on the wrap, yeah. and then paint everything else black, spray painted or whatever, so we won't see all the primer stuff like that. And then when I take it to my guy, we're gonna paint the door jams black and all that stuff. Okay. Because I don't want to open up the door and there's primer here and then the door is wide and everything. So. <laughs> We're gonna paint the door jams all black, like just a, like a flat black one. Do you want me to wrap in there or no? Is it a lot of work to wrap it? Yeah. Nah, it's, nah don't do that because okay. we'll eventually change the wrap on. Okay. You know, this is just what a year. We'll change it out next year. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so send me like a like a rendering of what you the idea that you got going on right here and the idea you got in the back, and then we'll we'll go from there. Also, since we're already here, we're supposed to be wrapping the giveaway that we got. I want to see a satin chrome blue or blue chrome satin. Let's go. Don't tell nobody about my stash. Okay. <laughs> so, so on the gas stash. So we have these guys. You like that? Yeah. Yeah. What is that? It's uh, it's called velvet blue, but it's close to like the satin chrome blue. Okay. Your other options are like chrome and stuff. I think there's one more that's pretty similar to that. What you think, guys? You like that? You see the color? Yeah, we can get yeah, it. Yeah, man, I wish it was sunny outside. It would make life so much easier. Yeah. Because like, it does no justice right, inside. Right, it does no okay. justice. Outside is where the magic happens. This is another really cool color. It's not satin chrome blue. But I think if you're going for a satin chrome blue, that's going to be the move. So the thing is that we have a blue suspension. Okay. It's yeah, powder coated blue. It's power coated like candy blue. Okay. It looks black. It has uh, power coated blue wheels, power coated blue suspension. So we have to go. I want to go with the blue. Okay. Cool. What does the suspension color look like? Because this color. like that. Just like. Because this you don't want to have two colors that are just kind of close. You know what I mean? Okay. Or it's going to look funny. It looks like yeah. you tried too hard. It's, it's too much. Yeah. There's another like a silver. It's not a chrome. I really like it a lot too but I think the blue is gonna pop and it's gonna stand out. I want it to stand out. Probably one of these. You know, pictures always yeah, never no. do it justice, but I would say it's gonna be one of these. I think it's this one. So we're gonna go with this one or the blue one, but I'm leaning more to the blue one, right? Blue on blue, huh? Blue on blue, and I mean, blue is nice and it stands out. Do you have the other color that we ordered? Let's see. So this one has like blue, purple, a little bit of Orange, reddish. Yeah, blue, purple, some red. It, man, it, you guys don't you need to come on a sunny day to yeah. see. <laughs> like, I can't even describe how cool this color is. We were gonna come yesterday, but we had a flat. Yeah. So we forgot the keys to the monster truck, ha not halfway going over here. So we had to go back all the way to the shop, get the keys, and then on the way out, 15 minutes in, we get a flat. So I was like, you know what? It's a sign. We just need to go back to the yeah. shop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just not looking good. So we just went back to the shop, uh, fixed the flat, put new tires on the trailer, and that was just, just like, fuck, we'll be here tomorrow. But, but I don't I don't know if you're like are okay, at the angle that you're at, but where I was sitting, like sit right there and look at it. <laughs> it looks super cool. Where what I was sitting, you can see all of it. It's, it looks kind of dark right now, yeah, yeah. But during the day, yeah, it's supposed to look good. We'll do the TRX this color. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Which logo are we using? Is it like the one on his hat or is it yeah. different? Yeah, this is it. This is the new logo because we don't have the old logo, right? It might be on the back of my shirt. The old logo we did before. Yeah, yeah, this is this one. Yeah. But that's the new one. That's so y'all are switching one. it? It's a little more modern, a little yeah. up to time. I mean, you know? we're still, the old one's still the original logo, but this one's the new style. So everybody wants to rock the new style. All the trucks are getting the new stickers. That's cool. So we'll do that. And then when can we do that one? Uh, the sand chrome? Yeah. So we can get that as soon as we pick this one up. Yeah, we'll drop the other one off. We'll drop off. Okay. It turns right on. Finally, the ladder get off there. It doesn't turn a lot either. Okay, the best right. way. Just hop up here. It's up to you. I mean, I don't know how flexible or, oh, I got it. or jump on the tire first. One leg on the tire, one leg on here. Oh, bro, like nothing. Bro, I was going to heave his ass up there. It turns on right on like nothing. That's it. Point on reverse. You're going to be doing this for a long time. Because uh -huh. it takes forever to, to turn. Okay, so that's the right? Yes. And yes. just laddered and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just all this, yeah. This truck actually was Cletus and then Whistling. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we went to Whistling's ranch, or what is it? His, yeah, his property. His ranch. property yeah. out there in Nashville and bought this one. But we actually lifted it like 10 more inches because it wasn't this high. It was already big. <laughs> all this was already done. They didn't have these big shocks. So we ended up 
Add in the body kit, this super sport body kit on it. We picked it up 10 inches, we added these new shocks, and we painted every all the suspension the and stuff like that. The big shocks is just yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're like 3,000 or 4,000 for these shocks. They're kind of expensive. Yeah, I believe yeah. like, How much is me and Homeboy was just talking about? How much are these tires? They're expensive. They're I like <laughs> 2,000 maybe a tire. They're tractor tires. That's yeah. close. They're tractor tires, bro. I was <laughs> like, I, was, I, was, I said they were like five grand a tire. Uh, oh, five grand. Oh, it's like two grand a tire. 2,500 a tire. Yeah, that's what I was like. Tw I was I told him 20 grand for everything. It's for when you do a burnout. Yeah. yeah. You just know how much money you're about to spend. Uh, That's all we good. We already put this thing in the mud too, in the water, it and do it's well, good. I don't do burnouts. Nah, nah, nah. I don't do no burnouts, but it's bulletproof, bro. Like it's been in the water, it's been in the mud, it's been in deep situations, and it fucking works, man. It's, it, holds it holds up. We actually took a bus last time, and the bus didn't make it. We had to put it out with this one. That's crazy. Yeah. You know what trips me up the most, though, honestly, the fact that you have a willow wood the same size as my Miata oh. stopping this damn. And they have to be there because if, if they're on the tire, they, it won't break or something like that. So it has to be right there. It actually breaks pretty good for the size. For something that small. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. And then it has like five ton axles. And it's a nice truck. I mean, it's expensive to build it. You know, we got like 50,000 in it just the way it looks. Or probably more, 55. It'll look at it when it's more time. Yeah, no, once, once, <laughs> we're know? Done, once we're done with the wrap and the new wheels, it's going to be with us. It's going to be with us, yeah. JTX made me some special wheels just for this truck. So, it. yeah, it's going to be with us. And it's a brand new design, so they, they want to have it at LST. And it's, that's why everything looks kind of like clean and stuff like that, because it was all fucked up. It was all dirty, full of mud, full of water, everything. It had a little bit of rust here and there. But now with the new wrap, everything painted down, it's going to look good, and especially with the logo. You mean what's the diesel drove it? Like he drove it in the mud? Yeah, well, he drives everything <laughs> in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's crazy. Appreciate you trusting me with, yes, sir. with this beauty and all your other cars, other trucks. <laughs> It'll make it cool. This is only the beginning, bro. All right, we'll see you. <laughs> Later, man. Okay. you got about an hour drive. <laughs> all right, guys. See ya. Be safe, bro. Ready. That's right here. Yep, look at that. Fucking tiny. You look like a failing back there, bro. Cause it's only burning for more time until you floor it. No, I'm flooring it, it just doesn't want to Yeah, that's what I'm saying, until it gets going it actually grabs. It just has a little dent on this side, but it's not too bad. It's in mint condition. Okay. It's in the power steering area. No, a veces... Is it leaking there? 
Oh, he's got a, uh, yeah. a puncture. Right it's gonna be flat tomorrow morning. The world has flat. <laughs> feels good, huh? Out of Takashi, out of all the trucks, dog, that bitch probably feels the most unsafe, dog. <laughs> the first fucking, the first loop, I, I, I was all like, oh, boy, <laughs> while we're fucking spinning, <laughs> trying to put my seatbelt on, I was like, nah, smack the shit out of this window over here. What's up, guys? Your boy Tiny, man. I had to pull up here to the shop. My boy Perrillo was slacking. He was slacking. Look at him. He's over there just puff, puff, puffing the magic dragon. Look at that. I had to come over here, put my foot down, get things done. We're out here. We touched up the walls with paint. We cleaned up the shop a little bit. You know, we got to start the year right. We still got a couple things. I mean, we still got pressure wash a couple things, but the shop is getting cleaned up, getting ready for the whole 2023 season. It's going to be an exciting one. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, that bell notification, and a big thumbs up. And also, we have that hoodie, that special swag hoodie is dropping here within next week. So stay tuned for that. Follow us on our social media so you know when it drops, because those are limited. Once they drop, they sell out. You guys are going to be like, man, I want it. I want it. And you're going to have to wait till the next batch so but for this video it's a wrap we're gonna see you guys on the next one <laughs>